Hi guys, Steph here. Right, what we got for you here? What we've got for you here is a pen from a manufacturer that I think, well, yeah, you know, people sort of poo poo, if you like. Um, they look at this manufacturer and they say, no, oh, yes, not for me, thank you, because they made a lot of. Well, what we term as low-end fountain pens. So, they don't have a big following, I don't think. And I think, again, a lot of people or pen collectors tend to sort of discard them, ignore them or whatever. What we've got for you is a platinum fountain pen. And as you can see, I bet before I said to you platinum, I bet you were looking at it and thinking... Wow, that's a nice pen. I wonder who, who makes that pen. Now, as you can see, it comes in this absolutely gorgeous sort of creamy, off-white colour. And it has these sort of streaks or these swirls of browns and blacks all around the pen. Okay, if we show you the cap, let's just show you a, sort of all the different colours. As you can see, these sort of lines of browns and sort of darker black colours as well. All in all, I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. So again, we've got a platinum fountain pen made in England. And as you've noticed, it's got a chrome, chrome plated trim. The size of the pen, first of all, from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel, it's a nice 129 millimeters capped. Around the barrel, it's a nice chunky 12 millimeters in diameter. And although this is a platinum fountain pen, I think it's still worthy of a review, just simply because it looks absolutely gorgeous, in my opinion. I would say this one, is made the very early 1900s. Now, for you people that don't know, in the early 1900s, Mentmore Manufacturing Company made the platinum fountain pens. And that'll become evident in a moment for you as we go along. So it's a, it's a, it's a pen made by, as I say, Mentmore Manufacturing Company. And I think this one dated in the early sort of maybe 1930s maybe slightly earlier 1920s was when you know basically when they made pens they made good quality fountain pens because although it's a platinum although it's supposed to be a low end if you like pen manufacturer i don't think there's nothing low end about this particular pen you know it would have been you know, just as attractive sat on anybody's desk in that particular period as any of the major manufacturers. But, as I said, let's just show you the, the trim. You can see the lever has got this sort of slightly sort of like arrowhead lever, again in polished chrome. The band there, the cap band, just a small single cap band. And again, the lever very well quite you know becoming sort of similar maybe to the sort of the parker clips you can see it's sort of similar to an arrow clip without the feathers but again very nice indeed and then to the top there we've got this sort of peaked sort of cap stud if you like to the very top of the pen again in my opinion there's nothing low end about this this specific pen it's it's a very nice and attractive fountain pen. Let's undo the cap for you. Let's give you the, the twirls, show you different angles. And again, the colouring on the pen, I think, is absolutely gorgeous. Let's take you up to this section. You can see it's got a black section, slightly concaved. Quite a, a short section as well. The only sort of downfall, if you like, maybe with these pens, uh, because I'm a vintage man and I do prefer my gold nibs, is that, you know, in that particular period on these pens, they did have these stainless steel nibs. Now, if I bring it nice and close for you, 
like so. You'll see that it says platinum, first quality. And then underneath you'll see sort of a symbol that has an M, an M, and a sort of C and an O. And that represents the Mentmore Manufacturing Company. So the nib was made by Mentmore, and as I believe, this pen was made by Mentmore as well. Let me try and give you a different angle. Hopefully you can see the M and M down at the bottom there. Okay, let's keep it nice and still. So I'm hoping that's, that's quite clear for you. Let's give you a sideways view. You can see it's quite a long nib. And the thing again about, I've seen these nibs before, the tines, as you can see, are quite long. The feed underneath, quite a standard feed for that particular period, what we term as a comb feed. And again, you can see everything is lovely and clean. I've restored it, we've put a new sack in it, and uh, well, it's actually ready to go back to the customer. So I'm sure he's going to be delighted with this pen. Size wise, very nice, it's quite a chunky pen, it's a very comfortable pen to hold as well. It's not small, it's not large. In my large hands, nice and comfortable. Because it's going back, I'm not going to fill it. But what we'll do, let's give it a writing sample and let's see how this steel nib writes. So, what we'll do, we'll just dip it in the ink like so. Okay, and let's see how we write. So, what we have here is a a platinum fountain pen made in England what date I would say around about the 1930s and maybe maybe slightly earlier because again because of the quality of this pen Again, there's a lot of platinum pens that came out slightly later, and yes, in my hop, in my opinion, they were very low-end pens, and some of them, when I received them, to be quite honest with you, they go straight in the bin, but not something like this pen. Again, from the early 1900s, I think, when they made these pens, you know, they took a little bit of pride, and, you know, they were sort of a quality and sort of... Yeah, a good made fountain pen that, you know, anybody that would have used this pen of that period, I'm sure they would have been very proud of it. Does it have any flexibility? I would say... Well, maybe very slightly. Yeah, it does. It's, it's... There we go, we're just running out of ink slightly. But yeah, it's... It's got a slight flexible nib, but one thing that surprises me with this steel nib, it's writing very, very nicely. As I say, I'm not a big fan of stainless steel nibs, but a lovely, lovely writer. So there's the writing sample. I would say a fine line, but with a little bit of pressure, as you can see, we can get a little bit of variation in the line. But all in all, very surprised. Lovely, lovely writer. So let's pop that to one side. Let's pop the cap back on and there we have it. A very nice early 1920s platinum fountain pen, chrome trim, stainless steel nib in lovely condition and in this lovely off-white cream sort of marbling swirl brown swirls and black swirl pattern an absolutely gorgeous pen so I hope you've enjoyed looking at it as much as I enjoy showing them to you people don't forget leave a comment below like the video and if you possibly can support my work but for now I'll say 
Bye-bye for now.